Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Primitive Gatherings and I'm happy to introduce to you our new store. So come on in and I'll give you a tour. All right, so the minute you walk in the door, I'm hoping that you're overwhelmed with all what you can see. So just by standing here and doing a little bit of a 360, you could probably stand here for a half hour just looking at everything. So it's so amazing for me to see this body of work all at the same time. I get goosies every time I walk through this door and stand and look and stare at all of these summer blocks of the week, both pieced and the, applique, well, the wool applique ones. So it's just amazing to be in this space and I can't thank the people who helped make it possible enough because it sure is a dream come true. So, Kaylee's gonna follow me around and I'm gonna try to give you the best tour I can virtually. So, um, we're gonna just come on over here. And over here is our notions section here. All of our quilts, we have just got the labels on. Uh, so we know how much they are, whether it's a kit, a pattern, or a kit and pattern. So a lot of these are previous quilts from years ago, but they still make really good patterns. So there's nothing wrong with still just selling a pattern. And a lot of times we can put together kits that um, may not be the same exact fabrics, but we can get darn close. So as you can see, um, I have a shop full of fabric, not only my fabrics, but all kinds of designers' fabrics in here. We have a bunch of my Moda Sisters' fabrics and other companies as well. So we're really branching out because with the Retreat House, I want to be able to make everybody happy with the fabric choices that we carry at the New Primitive Gatherings. So, all right, we're just going to come on over and do a brief walk through. Kaylee's gonna try to make it without not too much interference here. So we apologize if we move too fast, but here you get a good idea of what all we have. And we still have a lot of work to do. This is still gonna be a work in progress for a while, but I think we got a darn good start. Come back here. So over here in this cabinet, we uh, house all of our pre-cuts, whether they are mini charms, charms, jelly rolls, fat quarter stacks, fat A stacks. I'm super excited, my Urban Farmhouse 2. The pre-cuts have landed. We're just waiting for the bolted fabric to come in. So this gives you a good idea. We have our box kits here as well. A lot of our panels that you can take home and quilt or you can have us quilt them here. The boys do an awesome job of machine quilting, which you will see in a little bit. Okay. We have a lot of books for sale. Y'all know my favorite books are Martingale. And we have a nice selection of that. Look at all this bright fabric from Tula and Anna Marie Horner and all those people. And then over here is our Bernina Center. So look how beautiful this fits right into our store. And we didn't even plan that paint color. We had no idea what color this was going to come in and it matches beautifully to the color I picked for the store. So you get a nice look at everything here. And if you have any questions about any of the Berninas, we are able to sell them online as well as in the store. And Ruby, Luke, or Jake, any of one of them would be love to talk to you about any of the Bernina stuff. So I believe it's Bernina at primitivegatherings.us or you can go right on our website as well 
And there's a red button on there that you can see all the Bernina stuff that we now have on our website. So we are super excited about being a Bernina dealership. And yes, we do still carry the Jukies as well. <laughs> In case you were wondering. All right, so we'll come on over here and we'll work our way around. So we have lots of nice little cubbies and displays. This is my uh, latest Martingale book. I do have another one coming out in January, so I can't wait to announce that. But this is Wool, Needle, and Thread 2, and all of its projects in here. And then my fabrics. It's really kind of weird because I don't have a lot of my Moda fabrics. They've sold out. So how fun is that? More and more and more shelving. Uh, these are all flannels down this way. And we might as well go peek at our little classroom, Kaylee. They, I'm sure they want to see it all. So peek over here. So this is a classroom that we will nicely hold probably about 12 students in here. The lighting is amazing. Nobody needs to have a personal light. All right, so then we're gonna come on the other half of the store. So our store is 4,000 square feet. It is um, open to the second level here on this side. We'll give you another quick look again at the uh, uh, 20 some foot ceiling. I don't know exactly how high it is. But then this section here has my studio over the top of it. So this only has a 12 foot ceiling, but 12 foot is still pretty nice. And you will, you will be coming around to our wool section. So Kaylee will pan. These are all my patterns here on these shelving units along this wall here. And all of our kits are numbered and have a spot for the pattern and the kit. So when you see a sample, like, let's see, let's pick a sample. All right. So when you see something like this, so you see the 73, and then you find 73, and here will be the kits and the patterns. So that's how our whole store is set up. And my girls have been working super hard on making sure everything is numbered, and everything has a spot for our kits and patterns for this big event. So hopefully they will find all the ones that we uh, <laughs> don't know where they are, but we, uh, I can't thank the girls enough for how hard they worked because we have a lot of samples in this store. It is overloaded with, with samples. So come on in here and you will see wool on the shelf, a couple of the big projects that I have done most recently with wool applique. And this is kind of like the fall section on this side. You gotta remember not to go too fast, you'll make everybody dizzy. <laughs> All these bundles and lots of space to grow more. <laughs> Okay, so come on this way. So here's our beautiful checkout counter that Scott has made for us. Custom built, so beautiful, reclaimed tin here. And then did you get a peek in that corner over there? So we have a nice little display here of some of the Yuletide flannels that just came in. And I just want you all to know that, you see this quilt on the table? I didn't have a lot of time lately to, uh, you know, go on my blog and do some blog posts, but we will catch up and get some of this information out here. But this quilt is made with one layer cake and two yards of this light. And then there's a whole video series on how to make this quilt from start to finish. And Kaylee said she probably can make this quilt no problem after hours and hours and hours of putting that video together. But 
With this purchase, you get a card and on this card gives you the link uh, to follow to find all these videos and the pattern is free there as well. So just a fun little quilt for decorating. You can make it bigger if you want it to put it on a bed, but it is based on one of my antique quilts. And when we get more time, we will definitely do a uh, video on this as far as, you know, just showing everything and showing the antique. And then we will also um, be letting you know where you can purchase the kits and the pre-cuts and all that kind of stuff. So we are super excited to get this Yuletide Gatherings flannel line and wait till you see all the rolls of fabric when we go through the warehouse. All right, so I'll let Kaylee pan around a little more. I do want her to show you all the beautiful flowers I've got today. This one is from the town of Winchester. Thank you so much. They just welcomed us right into this town like you wouldn't believe. So there's a cute little floral arrangement and they gave us a whole basket of like cheese and stuff. So that was fun too. All right, Kaylee, you're not going to make it through here. <laughs> and then you also have to see this beautiful flower arrangement from Mark Dunn, who is my boss at Moda. And he says it's from him and the rest of the company, but how gorgeous is that? So thank you so much. That just touches my heart that they thought enough to send that beautiful arrangement. So just, y'all know I'm pillow crazy. So here's a nice arrangement of all the pillows and kits we have going on. And then Kaylee will go up in this area here and show you the mini quilts. And then some more of the, you all remember Primitive Garden. That's like, I think that's the one that, you know, kind of launched my career as far as a, a real quilt designer. Like everybody had to do that quilt. They loved it. So. Front and center, right? Yep. So then we're back to the beginning where you come in and then she'll just quick do a little, um, did you do the bed? All right, so we've got it still kind of decked out for patriotic, red, white, and blue. People have been like um, picking things up, so we'll have to arrange it a little bit more from tonight. We had a whole group of people, and I just want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. It was so fun to see everybody and how excited they are about our new quilt shop. All right, so some more pans up. And then that little window. That little window over there on the left, that's my quilt studio. So we will be going up there as well. Okay, so where are we going next, Kaylee? Which way? You wanna go that way? Yeah, let's okay. go Okay, let's go this way. I say we end at my studio, okay. our studio. <laughs> All right, so eventually we are supposed to have a barn door here to close this off. Up here to the left is my studio and we will go be going there last. But over here is only for the employees. So let's go see what's in here. All right. So we have a cute little break room here for all of our employees. We actually got a quilt hung in here in the last day or two. <laughs> Did you end up getting all the pictures with all the quilts in? Not quite yet. Okay. All right, so work in progress. You can see this is the kidding room and all the girls are busy kidding Yuletide gatherings right now and of course our summer blocks of the week. So there, this is all, this is all the wools that are dyed for our wool box. So this is what they will be working on next is our wool box that um, we postponed until the end of the month 
because of getting ready for this uh, grand reopening. But look at all of that. So that is all the wool we need for our 1300 subscription boxes. So thank you if you are a part of that as well. I did the Nick thing. <laughs> Nick's always like. Okay, so I've been quilting for over 25 years. So here is a bunch of my quilts. So some of them, again, are patterned and some of them are other people's patterns. So these two big house quilts up here are, are Barb and Alma patterns from Blackbird's Designs. One I did in 2006, and the other one we ran as a block of the month that Joanne Blank stitched for us at Primitive Gatherings. But the rest of the quilts pretty much are all single patterns or are in our Flannel Gatherings book. Some of the flannel quilts are in that as well. So it made a huge difference in this room for the girls, I think, to have the quilts on the wall. It made it so much nicer to work in. All right, we're leaving the kit room and coming into the office and our little publishing company. And look, people are still working. Don't you wanna go home today? <laughs> So Lisa and Terry are still here. What time is it? Is it like 7 o'clock? <laughs> 7.30. Okay, so this is the blue and white room. Lisa's favorite color is blue, so she got all the blue and white quilts in here. So this is Julie's desk here to the left. She's part-time, which is Lisa's assistant helping her. So just take a peek here at the table. This is all of our triangle papers in progress and some of our books here ready to be punched and bound with the coils so here's like a storage spot for the covers that are run on a different paper than the inside this is a machine that cuts everything so like when we make a book like this everything has to be cut to that size and that is Terry's department so she's way over here working on something for our summer block of the week I think or something <laughs> all right so you probably notice maybe some of you are doing this wool project here so she's got it on the computer she's drawing out the patterns She's making sure that all the sizes are right for the kits. And you can see like all of the books here that have, let's look at the beginning of the patterns. So this is when, right from the beginning, a sweatshirt pattern, a little quilt. These are like the, my first, first patterns. Just little simple things, pillows, mats. So that's where we started. And look at where we are now. <laughs> that's pretty impressive. <laughs> All right. Okay, you're coming around this way. All right, so over here, we have just entered the dyeing studio so all the wools on this racking here will probably be over dyed except for those dark blacks so we take this wool and we dye it one pot at a time and Kaylee will roll around here so you can see this beautiful new dye studio so here's the kitchen where the stoves are. We have washers and dryers. We do some felting yet. We, a lot of times we'll use the, the washers to spin out the wool. But as you come around this side here, you see the dyes in the jugs and where Tyler or Whitney will measure out all the little formulas for each dye. And we are being um, hunted by skeeters here. 
All right, so come on down this way. Again, lots of wool on rolls here that we will over dye. And you can kind of see the storage, some of the storage that we have. And there are our roll on tube yuletide gatherings. So you have to remember that I only do one flannel line a year. So it'll be another year before we get more flannel in or an, at least another uh, set of flannels. So we need to make this last for a long time and it's hard to know how much to order. So I try to order a lot. <laughs> so I, I can have, like if I need a project for a wool box, I need to order enough yardage that I can make 1,300 of them. So whether that's a half yard, which would only be 750 yards or 7, 650 or whatever. And then, uh, or if it's a yard piece, I would need 1,300 yards. So that's, take some pre-planning. And um, we're getting better at pre-planning, but that operations manager of mine will get us all up to snuff on everything. So I'm looking forward to all the extra help that we have hired now for me and for everybody else to make our lives a lot easier. Okay, so now that we are looking the other way, this is our paper storage because we print all these books and patterns here. All right, so let's go to the pretty part. So y'all know that we have t-shirts. So look at how fun this is. I was there when the doors opened. And we don't care if that means you physically walked in the door or your checkbook or your credit card walked in. We don't care. It all counts, okay? <laughs> you can get a t-shirt if your credit card was here. So this is fun to see all the beautiful wools. We had many requests to put the wools in alphabetical order so it was easier for them to pick the wools because if it's a salt box, they know that it's an S, right? They don't know that salt box is a really dark red where we used to have them in color family. So all the reds would be in one section and all the golds would be in one section. That's the way I prefer it because when I'm looking for a green, I go right to the greens. Now I have to run around like a mad woman to all the different greens, but I guess I lost. <laughs> okay. Kits in progress here for Yuletide. So this is a cut sheet here. So this tells them everything that needs to go in each kit. And then it's all cut and packaged and put together. So these over here are all the mill dyed wools that we just felt. I believe they're beautiful wools. So I combine them right in with our hand dyes to, for any project that I wanna make. I, I don't discriminate. I don't think I just have to use hand dyes. I love the mill dyes as well. They're just a nice fun addition to the, 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 the hand dyes. All right, so looking this way, you're seeing all the patterns that we have created here at Primitive Gatherings. Lots and lots of them. I don't even know how many. Just like in those books where there's one, this is where we house the stacks of all the, all the kits or all the patterns, excuse me. And then behind that is storage for the kits that the girls make and all their supplies. I really love our new building here. I hope we uh, don't fill it up too fast. Hopefully we can move it out instead of filling it up. Some extra book storage here. Here's our charm storage where we store all the pre-cut charms. So we cut our wools into yardages, you know, eighths and quarters and half yards and yards. And then we also do a lot of pre-cuts. So we do five inch charms. We do quarter yard cuts on textures. 
So this color comes on a variety of textures and a solid. So this is the color, and then this is what it looks like when we put it on the other patterns. So any of our colored wools you can get on these three different textures. I'm just going to set that there so they don't kill me for just cramming them back in. All right, so Kaylee will slowly scan all of this for you. So I'm hoping this is just like being here. And I hope you were able to see all the specials that we have for you for our grand reopening. And we will go over them tomorrow when we are live. I'll get Jessica to slowly sit down with me and we'll introduce every little prize that you will get and they accumulate. So if you spend $50, you get a keychain. If you spend $100, you get a keychain and a patch and so on. As they go up, you get them all if you spend lots of money here for our grand opening. All right, so this is kind of a hard little corner. So this is an employee. So this is June. We call her. So we put a bolt in here and she will cut half yard after half yard after half yard after half yard. So it really helps us cut our kits. And June is a little temperamental sometimes, but right now she's working really good because I've threatened to fire her a couple times. But she is the cheapest employee I have. She only costs us like, you know, $260 a month. So that's really cheap wages. And she does a lot of work sometimes. And sometimes she has time off, a lot of time off when, we're, when we don't have a new fabric line to cut all of our kits in. But when that new fabric line comes in, she gets a workout and she gets, she gets her, her paid time off, <laughs> well earned. All right. So now we're back over here. So remember this section? Right? We, did not go we didn't go this way? No. Oh, okay. See, I've given so many tours today that I thought I was over here. Okay, so just do a little whirly round here. So this is just an aisle way here between the two halves of the building. There is a firewall that separates this building into two parts. So this over here, this is holding all the fun stuff that will be in a wool box. Like, you know, sometimes we'll put like a little flower or something. This is what's holding all that here. So this is all stuff that will be in future wool boxes. Okay, now this way. I'm a little backwards. I must usually always come from that way. So we're going to just walk through and start from the door. No, we're not. We're not. We're not. Okay, so we did miss a few things. Should we go back and do them? because we should go around and then up to our studio. Okay. So let's just go this way back. I wish I had my key. Oh, but Nick's, we almost forgot Nick. He would have killed us. <laughs> He's waiting around for us. <laughs> yeah, so Nick is over here where our big garage door is, where all of our shipping comes in. So he's, he's, he's taking a nap. He wants to go home. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I was just kidding. Yeah. I just screwed my computer. <laughs> <laughs> do you, do you want to show people your area or do you need me to? This is my dog, Jeter. Your dog, yeah. Yeah, my good boy. Yeah. My, my stash of oatmeal cookies. Who made you those? Never mind. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is my area. This is... My area, but I'm never here. I'm all over this building. Uh, orders that are waiting on stuff to go, to get shipped out. Um, yeah. Semis come in, I unload them, and get them to where they need to go, like all your fabric and your stuff. Is that right the there. flowers I got today in that box? Yes. I have yeah. a beautiful plant from Jody Burrows, who is square in a square. Thank you, Jody, for the awesome plant. It was You're on. Okay. I'm going home because I got to be back in here about 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. So good seeing everybody. Thank you for everything. Keep stitching. See you soon.
I'll see you at home. I'll open that. All right. So do we have to take a time out and switch batteries or something? Nope. No? We're all good. Oh, okay. All right. So again, you'll see the water, the snow plow. I know some of you have probably never seen a snow plow, but here one is. That will hook to our truck and we will plow the parking lot. That lift, that's how we get all those quilts hung so high. So we bought a nice used lift to help us change those quilts in and out. And I'm pretty sure there's full size candy bars in that fridge. Yeah, so Nick has that refrigerator right back there, there and he has like Gatorades and candy bars for all the truck drivers. So I think he, uh, Thank you. Let's not forget a full bag of Dilly, Dilly bars. bars. <laughs> oh my yes. God. I know where I come now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So did you open Scotty's room for me? Yes, I did. Okay. So you all know Scott, you hear me talk about him all the time. He is my first cousin and he is the one that makes all the wonderful quilt hangers and little stands. And he has this beautiful new room here. I think it's awesome because it's almost like a quilt room, only it's woodworking stuff. So I totally get it and I love how organized he is. So yeah, so we have, here is his area here, here's his, we have fabric stash, he has wood stash, wood collection. So he's got big tables over there for cutting and drying and doing all the things. All right. Well, he's got a stash too. <laughs> he's got a candy stash too. Yeah, you guys and your candy. Okay, second side of the warehouse. This is all of our Urban Gatherings pre-cuts that just came in. So those will be in your mailbox soon if you've ordered pre-cuts from us. Let's take a quick peek over here. So I kind of made this into a makeshift extra classroom and then storage for the store or places to dump fabric that we're going to make a kit out of, an extra pre-cut storage. So that's what this area is in here. So like if maybe if we make baskets or paint barn signs, all that stuff can happen back here and gives us a much more room other than in a little store classroom. Okay, so let's just kind of pan this way. We can go down the aisles here. So we have some home deck stuff and some pillow storage here and then some rolled on a tube flannel. We have a lot of basic flannels here and all of this is previous rolled on a tube. And that's what you call ROT if you've ever heard any of that. And why would, would we want it rolled on a tube? So like if we're making a lot of kits and we let's say we need like six yards, well, if you had six yards on a bolt, you're only going to get two and then you have three yards left over. So if it's rolled on a tube, there's usually like 80 to 100 yards on there. So we're able to cut multiple, multiple kits off of the one roll instead of having it bolted. And we're just going to take a quick peek in here. This is all, if you look down this aisle here, Brand new, recently stocked, all with Yuletide here on the right side. And then, like I said, we don't have a lot of the other Moda fabrics of mine, but this is a combination of all the rest that we have left over. And then this is pre-cut land over here. So here again, you'll see all what we have left of American gatherings up here and then this is all the Yuletide gatherings pre-cuts and then let's take a little peek in here. So all of the kits that we have are housed by our number and then all in these boxes here. So this is where we come and restock the store of all of our kits. 
So Amy has worked her butt off to reorganize this all with new boxes, new numbers, and getting it all in order. Her and Judy worked really hard at getting that all done for our event here. And then look at the beautiful Valdani threads. That's hard to walk by without your mouth hanging open because it's so beautiful to see all those threads. Okay, welcome to the Bernina Quilting Studio. So here is where we quilt quilts on the long arms. So this is a Bernina studio. All the quilts in here, all the machines are Bernina. And we'll quick do a little scan around. So this is my homestead wovens that are that, what's that? It's bumpy in here. It's bumpy in here? So they started quilting like a diamond peel on this one. Yeah, it's a little different. Uh... And do you remember last week or the week before we showed you the cute little fox and owl and bear kits? Here is the fox being quilted. Thank you, Terry, for getting the sample done for us. And then they're in the process here of loading a quilt. So this, the back is on. And this is, I think, the last quilt for Homestead that needs to be quilted before we get that book out and ready. So this is Jake's repair desk here. And that, Jake polishes rocks. <laughs> So he has his rock polisher there, whatever, grinder. And then I stumbled upon this. So all the employees got new aprons. So do you think my son is a little creative with his sewing machine? <laughs> so I know he just got this today, so now I know what he was doing. <laughs> Again, stuff waiting to go in the store. New fabrics that just came in. Some of this, we, this is an overstock of some of them that are here on the other side. I know we just got a, this is Pambuda on the other side. Oh no, they got it into the store. The Lori Holt new fabric line that just came in is in the store. So Kaylee's gonna pan around and I'm gonna show you this area here. So this is our shipping department. So when you place an order online, it gets printed here, it gets picked back there and shipped out the door here. So see those boxes here, full of mail. So I'm assuming this is your summer block of the week's front porch swing probably. Okay, so what do you want to do about going up to the studio now that we have to go upstairs? Are we going to take a short little break? Sure. Okay. Let's just walk that way. Yeah, so we're going to walk that way and we're going to go up the stairs and we will be right back. Okay. Welcome to my upstairs studio here at Primitive Gatherings. So I'm gonna just, Kaylee's sitting with her back to the door right now. So I'm just gonna let her pan the whole room so you can get an idea of the layout of the room. And then we will go through and give you a close up of what's going on in here. Okay, so we're just gonna go follow this way around. So here is my desk, which is, we got out of the trash. We reclaimed it from a concrete company. This is Carrie's desk. <laughs> just hooked a little something there. 
All right, so this gives you another view of the room here as well. And then why don't you just kind of turn this way, Kaylee, and you'll, and I know some of you might have seen some of this previously, but we have a lot more decor or decorating done now than we ever have. So I can't wait to be done putting the store together and all the rooms and start working in these areas. So what you're just seeing now is my Moda fabrics all in this shelving. And this shelving unit is double sided. So on the other side is fabric as well. And before you saw just boxes stacked all over here. Okay, so there's a quick little peek into the bathroom where nothing has happened yet. <laughs> But the floor is pretty fabulous, yes. Okay, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, so this is a bunch of the antique quilts. I folded every single one of these. It took me about three days because I could only handle doing, you know, like 75 or 100 at a time because then I just wanted to, uh, but pretty spectacular. So I kind of put them together like these are all quilts with lots of fabrics in them. So this is where, so this is marking like a cool fabric that I may want to recreate or that I already have, one of the two. So these are what I use these quilts for. These are all log cabins. These are fabric quilts again with a lot of um, pattern, a lot of different fabrics in them. These down here are all sampler quilts. And one of the things I want to do coming up is do a stitch along with um, some of these old sampler quilts because there's a lot of blocks in there that I have never seen before. These are all quilts with tiny, tiny pieces. You can see these little, little itty bitty nine patches here are to die for or these little, little stars. So that's about three inch star there. Or look at those one and a half inch pinwheels. So these are all the little tiny quilts. You gotta see this one. Look at all the fussy cutting going on in this one. So she fussy cut all these little squares. It's just so fun to look at all these old, old quilts. So these are like the really cool quilts that I have, like maybe the more expensive ones or the real perfect ones. And then as you pan around, um, all the wool quilts up top, all the pink quilts, all the bubble gum in here living in this area. Here's some of my hand quilted quilts. There was a big open spot there, so I just pushed those in there for now. Here's all my little baby little quilts old antiques that I found. So yes, the antique room is very fun and you could spend hours in here. And I can't wait to keep recreating these quilts and showing them to you for years to come. Now we take the light off them. We don't want a lot of light on them all the time. Uh, and eventually we will have a barn door here to protect them all as well. All right, so did you get this here, Kaylee? Okay. So come on over here. We just got a new shelving unit in here in the last day or two. And this houses all, for the lack of a better word, the junk that we accumulate. All the fabric books, all the things we're working on, all, you know, this is the fabric line that we're working on. This is some extra pre-cuts. And these are the fabric headers of all of my fabrics from every fabric line that I have. So this is Old Glory. I wish I would have wrote on here what year they came out, but this is my first patriotic line that I ever did. So it's nice to have them all nice and close like this. This rolled all up. And now they have a home. Okay, so just run a quick little peek over here. This is coming soon, but I don't think anybody knows about it. So don't tell anybody because you never know what you're going to see up here. 
cl privileged information. So I just, I just seen something. So don't move the camera because I got to hide something from you. <laughs> All right, this is what I'm hiding. This is the project in your wool box, a nice big fat project, but I don't want to spoil it for you. So I needed to hide it from you. So this is going to be in the September wool box. Okay, so this is where Kaylee's desk is. This is Jessica's social media person. And then, so look at look it up here. So this is a great example of my favorite thing with quilting is finding an antique and then recreating it. And then it's even extra special if it ends up on the cover of a magazine. Oh yeah. So here it is. This is a cover girl of Quilt Mania. But yeah, so I just love seeing the two of them together and nowhere else were we ever able to do this where they, I can display both the quilts. And I do have a trunk show of all the quilts that I have recreated. So it's called Recreating the Past. So someday maybe we will do that on a video and show everybody all of the quilts. Okay, should we show them the, what's, what's in the video studio? Sure. Okay, you explain the video studio. Okay. Not quite done yet, but here it is. This is where Lisa's tutorial videos and teaching and all that good stuff will happen. So we have, I know we kind of spilled the beans, but we're going to have an overhead camera. Yeah. Right there. So it'll be like a good above thing. She'll have her sewing machine. Yeah, my She'll sewing machine, a, I'm pressing, uh, yep. iron, everything all in one. Yep, all you know, so I'll probably have to be sewing standing. Probably. But yeah. I can do it. Yeah. I can do it. So then here, I'll turn around this way. <laughs> and then this is, here's our little switchboard that we got. I like that you painted it black. Yeah. I, yeah, I requested that per you. <laughs> <laughs> per me, huh? <laughs> and all our lighting and all of our backdrops for the product. These make me look better. <laughs> <laughs> Without them, it would be scary. So here's a bunch of things that we that are coming up like that or be on a video or be on a tutorial or that we put in a wool box but now we haven't just released them yet so this is kind of like a work in progress shelf here so lots of fun stuff and then come on over here in this area you all are probably familiar <laughs> whoops <laughs> with this area so this is our live stream, sit and talk about what's going on area. So this is our uh, quilt that we will be talking about soon. I know it's on the website, but we really haven't launched it yet or talked about it much. And then these were these pillows that I was telling you about the other day on our live stream, where this is a panel and you, I actually put them back to back so you could have a pieced block on one side and then the other side has the sayings. So we're waiting for a couple more of these and then we'll be talking about those coming up. Over here is we have some, we're getting ready for our get, collecting stuff for our um, auction for Hogs for Heroes. You all know about that. If you don't, look into that. Now, look at these. I did not fold a one of these because I was tired after folding all of them. Wrestling those quilts around and get them in the right size to fit the space is like wrestling alligators. So Sam and Mickey folded all of the tops. So these are quilts. These are quilt tops that aren't quilts yet. So I use these again for fabric or if they're a great design, we'll recreate it. And sometimes we'll even quilt some of them to make them into quilts so they can be loved and used instead of just sitting in a cabinet as a quilt top. Okay, again, here's some quilts that we hung in the studio. Oh, Christmas Tree is from our Yuletide Gatherings book. Now I make 
and design these big quilts for king size beds. So it's just a little patchwork and a lot of space. So the pillows up on top makes a fast quilt. And if you have a smaller bed, like you have a queen, then you just do one less tree or a twin. You only do three. And this will, you can still fit this in the area of the bed or you don't put it on at all. You can do whatever you want. So that's what's fun about quilting. And then here's our meeting table. We have Tuesday staff meetings of all the heads of all the departments. So this is where we meet right here. And this quilt is so fun. I love this quilt. This is Kimberly Jolly's social lights quilt, her staff did a fabulous job with this quilt along. It came in, I think, three, six, and nine inch blocks. So this is the nine inch blocks. And this is made with my Urban Farmhouse two and one fabric. So there's two fabric lines mixed together here and it's all grayscale. So this turned out fabulous, which reminds me, they want us to send us pictures of this for them, okay? okay. All right. Here is the full out Hogs for Heroes quilt from American Quilting Stitch Along. It's a great spot for it. It looks so tiny on this big wall. <laughs> so you gotta remember these, the ceiling in here is probably 14, 12, 14 feet here. So they're massive. The quilt here on the table is the panel quilt that we made from the Yuletide Gatherings panel. So all it is is the panel fussy cut and then we made big stars out of the, the big pieces and then on we used the smaller pieces on the panel in the border. So this is a fun quilt out of a panel. All right, so new fabric line coming here my market fabric line. I'm sure they, the salesman might have that right now, so I might not get in too much trouble for showing that. <laughs> we all speed up right yeah, so here again, this is an antique quilt top. I'm thinking about throwing this on my quilt frame in the gathering this weekend so we can be hand quilting during our uh, grand opening event. So I picked this one out. It's super cute and it's in perfect condition. So that is going to be made into a quilt. Design wall and in these cubbies right now are just pieces and parts of quilts that are getting put together or waiting to be put together, waiting for somebody to make a sample out of them. Back in the corner, my weekly summer block of the week, wildflower garden. That's what that is called there. And this is my studio. So this is the tour of the warehouse and the store. And are we gonna go over to the gathering, Kaylee? We can, yeah. Okay, so next up we will go to the gathering and continue there. So see you in a minute. All right, we are now at the gathering. So come on in to our retreat house. All right, so as you can see, it is a fairly large space in this open great room here that we call the gathering room. So this is where you will stitch when you come to stay at the gathering. So we're just gonna pan over here. So we're kind of set up for tomorrow's event and things are changed around a little bit but this is our seating area where you can do some hand stitching. We have a beautiful fireplace and of course, TV with Wi-Fi and all the Netflix and all the shows and all that stuff that you need for hand stitching, right? Okay, over here is our check-in desk. And this is another thing that Scotty made for us. I just wanna show a couple things here. All right, so uh, Erica, who is our master gardener 
and farmer, we have started to put up our little design wall of what we want our back garden. And this, of course, is our front landscaping plan that Jim drew up. But this is Erica's little sketch of what we're going to, all the things that we're going to add in the back. And we're just getting our little inspiration here. So we thought we would just use this wall here for our idea wall. And of course, you all know I'm a big fan of Florette and her beautiful flower farming books. She is my inspiration for doing our back gardens. So look her up at Florette. You will not be sorry if you love gardening. Okay, so this is our guest kitchen where you will put all of your drinks and your ice machine here, microwave, storage for you to put any of the stuff that you bring along that might not fit all in the refrigerator. And here we have our cookies set up for tomorrow. And Kaylee, look, they left us some cake. Oh. <laughs> Not covered, so I'm assuming we need to eat it. Yeah, right? <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. So that's our little guest kitchen there. So nice room for you to um, store your stuff. So here we have all of our door prizes and raffles. So when you purchase at Primitive Gatherings, you get 10 tickets and they can put in each bucket the prizes they want to win. So they can put their tickets in the buckets of the prizes that are available. And we have prizes from Moda and Uline and lots of places. I'll make sure that Jess puts that down of where they all came from. And tomorrow we plan on doing some demos in here. We'll have some ladies stitching. Um, way in the back corner there is my quilt for the summer's block of the week called Front Porch Swing. So I thought I would show people how that went together. And then the inspiration quilt next to it. So here you see we also have quilts hung and artwork. So let's go down the hall. All right, so this is your sleeping quarters. And you can kind of see. All the way down we have quilts and then the little signs above. And your key matches your sign. So these are all the cute keys that we made. And my sister Lisa hand painted all the barn signs. Okay, so how fun is that? And then when you walk into the rooms, this is a quad room. So you'll see how much room is in here yet. There's, there's lots of room in this quad, lots of outlets, lots of USB places to plug in. And then over here, every room has a shower and a toilet. And then if it's a more than one person room, we have double sinks in all of the rooms as well. And you put your suitcases in here. It's kind of funny because the quad room has the least amount of storage. <laughs> but what do you do when you have four beds in a room? We have a couple single rooms, which are all ADA. Everything is on one floor in the retreat house, so that makes it fun and easy. So this room is an ADA bath. And I still have some decorating to do in here, but I just want to find the right pieces. I don't want to rush anything and just put, 
you know, some stuff up on the wall just because I have it. I really want to think about it. And all the quilts in the, on the beds are for sale. So if you want to buy your quilt that you sleep under, you're more than welcome to. And if somebody passes on theirs, you're welcome to any of them. All right. So then we'll go look at a double as well. But we'll take a little trip down the hall because I'm sure you want to see all the quilts. And we, everything is hung by our yardsticks, so these will easily come down and go back up. And in uh, the end of November for our primitive Christmas, I'm planning a red and white quilt show. So let's go in this room right here. So this is our double room. And look at all the shelving in this room. That's kind of crazy. It might be a little overkill. <laughs> But maybe they'll fill every one of those cubbies with Primitive Gatherings merchandise, right? Okay, so bathroom is the same. <laughs> it is what it is. Nobody cares. They're just happy we're showing them everything. Right. Yeah. Two cups for two. Yep. All right. So we'll just take a little pass down the hall so you can kind of peek in every room. We won't go in any more of them, but Kaylee will give you a look, peek in every one of them. See the quilts. And as she goes by, I will shut the lights off in all of them. And put the shades down. And put the shades down to protect the quilts. Did you get this room? Yep. Okay. That'll take forever. <laughs> All right, so let's go to the other half of the house and we will be done shortly. So tomorrow we'll be going live and explaining a bunch of our door prizes and stuff like that for you all to participate in what we all have going on. But this is our eating area. Our staff just got done kind of chowing down some pizza here. The last minute. And then if you look over here, you can peek into our commercial kitchen where this is like a hot serving bar. So everything here stays nice and hot. And then like our continental breakfast is here. And then we have a six foot salad bar over here that is phenomenal. Everybody loves the salad bar and I think it's the best thing that we put in this kitchen. So we have vegetables from the garden that we serve on our salad bar. So a lot of our meals here, we try to do farm to table as much as possible and everything is pretty much home cooked and delicious. So we want you to come. You need to come book a stay with us. We will put all that information online for you and on this video so you can contact us if you wanna come and stay with us here at the gathering. We sure would love to have you. So that concludes our tour and we appreciate you and your support of our business. So thanks everyone, have a good evening.